So you just inherited a house and you're like, now what? Stay tuned on the top five things you need to make sure of. Hi, this is Joy Larson with the Joy Team in the Keller Williams Greater Cleveland Market. Thanks so much for joining us today. Today we're talking all about inheritances. You inherited a house and now what? There are five things you just need to make sure of. Now there's a lot of things you want to make sure of and make sure to check out my other video that I have done on inheritances as well. And we are covering step by step, little by little on all of these things. So make sure to text us and our team if you have any questions or comment below and make sure to subscribe as well. Let's talk about the first thing you want to be sure of. You want to first get certified death certificates and you will need to make sure to get at least five. When you're going through the whole process and with an inheritance and especially inheriting a home, you will want to make sure to have those certificates that are certified. So the death certificates that are certified and get Five of them. You can't just make copies of them on your own and, and just count that as certified. No, it has to be certified. So make sure to do that. Number two, make sure that your bank account is in the name of the trust. So whatever the trust is in, I'm assuming it's in a trust or the name, make sure the bank account is in that exact name. Because if you go to sell your estate that you now own, it is going to need to go into that account. And it has to be the same as what is written in the trust. So the title company cannot put funds in their personal name account. It has to be in that specific trust account. So make sure to do that. And you can text us with any questions too, and we can help with that. Number three, make sure that you have your trust in the PDF form. So make sure the parents who have passed on is in PDF form because they're not going, you're going to have this huge document that it's easier to email people. So make sure that you just scan it. It just makes it so much easier. And then you don't have to drive over to the places. A lot of times you can just email. All right. Number four, you want to make sure to keep the utilities going. I know that a lot of people just leave it be. Well, if you're going to sell your estate here, you need to have the electric on, you need to have the gas on, especially in the Cleveland area, it gets very cold. And if you don't have the electric and you don't have the gas on, then you are gonna get frozen pipes and boy, that's gonna be a mess. So make sure water stays on. You can turn it off at the in the house, but just continue to pay the utility bills. So that is something that's a must if you are going to sell the estate. Number five, now if there is a mortgage, you are going to want to keep paying that mortgage. Now, if there's no funds in the estate and you don't have funds to pay the mortgage, you might want to call that lender and tell them what's up because a lot of times after uh, two to three months, you don't want to have the whole foreclosure process started because then selling the estate will get a little messy. So make sure that you keep paying those bills as well as paying the bills. If there is a pool, make sure to keep it going. If there's a pond, we had an estate where we had the buyer and they ended up not taking care of the pond. Well, at first it was beautiful and it was this nice estate. It was gorgeous and they did not pay to keep it up. They did not pay to keep it mowed. They did not pay to keep that pond going. 
and it was a disaster. So it was one of those things where it almost cost those sellers the home because our buyers almost walked because of that. So you just want to keep all the maintenance going, keep all the bills going, especially if there's money in the estate, keep it going. And if not, you can talk to your attorney to go through all the details on that. Make sure to text us and our team if you have any questions. We're here to help and check out our other videos. And thanks for joining us.